All right, so it's time to open this box I got from Artifacts. And I expect it to be filled with all kinds of cool stuff. Laser guns, skateboards, knives. No, but uh, it'll be filled with stuff that's just as cool, which is a bunch of their panels and supports. So, let's take a peek. All right, so first we have what appears to be a note from Dracula. Uh, no, just a kind note from the owners and the family of artifacts, talking about the quality of their products. All right, you can never have enough stickers. Looks like we got a shirt also. That says, rude. Artifacts for rigid panels. All right, and then we got the panels themselves. All right, so first we've got the ACM Unprime panel, which is just their basic aluminum support without any kind of primer on it. Um, so you can kind of customize it to whatever you need. Get whatever kind of texture you need, how smooth, how rough you need it to be, how absorbent. Uh, just perfect for, you know, whatever work you need to do. Then we've got the temp panel. And uh, this is one I've actually never used. Uh, just judging by the name, I assume it's tempera focused, which is a medium that I haven't really explored at all. And it says it is a prime surface that is absorbent and the texture is actually quite smooth. So might be an interesting one to explore. Um, next, we've got the ones that I am so familiar with and most experienced in, which are the oleo panels. And uh, these are actually really cool and very interesting because it is so difficult to find a oil primed rigid panel like this um, that's like pre-primed and pre-made for you. Usually you find gesso out there which is good for its own thing but uh, it's just so satisfying to paint into that oil prime. And uh, you know the finished, uh, finished product is always a very very satisfying. And this comes in two different varieties. One is a uh, eggshell surface which has got a little bit more of a texture to it. Maybe I call it medium to rough texture even. And then you've got the smooth surface, which is the one I like to use the most. Um, still has a little bit of texture to it, but it's perfect for those really kind of fine details that I like to work in. Um, and then we've got the copper panel, which is another one that I've been super interested in and have enjoyed painting on a couple times already. Um, you know, when I, I was actually really surprised when I first started painting onto this, I assumed that it was going to be like, you know, glass or, or, uh, or metal or, or a mirror or something like that, where it's just so repellent that uh, you really need to get a initial sort of priming layer down before you can really do anything. And as an Ala Prima painter, I kind of like to get everything done in one go. Um, and I found that I was actually able to with this surface. You know, it is just absorbent enough to where I could get an initial layer down to paint into and get a finished product um, in one sitting right away. And uh, there's just something so cool about the uh, texture and the, and the sort of visual quality of this and it's cool if you can kind of leave some of it showing through in your paintings you can get lots of really interesting effects there so definitely one of the cooler panels out there all right then we've got what looks to be about a million different linen panels and I assume they're all just gonna be different kinds of uh, weave textures and, and primers um, so it looks like we've got uh, oil primed acrylic primed and uh, even lead white primed, which is really really interesting um, and we've got fine, extra fine medium. Let's take a look at this extra fine just to see how fine we do get. And it looks like a quite fine weave there that might even be finer than this smooth oleo panel. Um, so these are all really great, really satisfying. That lead white prime, you can see it's got a very nice kind of warm tone to it. It's gonna be a really satisfying panel to paint on. Um, then we've got cotton, and cotton gets a bad rap sometimes. You know, I guess there's some sort of prestige in people's minds about, about linen, probably because it's history and, and whatnot, but cotton is just as good and sometimes even better for certain heavy duty projects. And here we've got acrylic prime and we've got extra fine again, fine and medium. And let's take a look at that extra fine, also super fine. Again, maybe even finer than the linen, um, but definitely suitable for lots of small fine details. And finally, we've got the charta panel which is another one that I've never used. Um, it says that it is a paper mount, so I guess, yeah, Strathmore paper mounted to that same rigid panel that they have, which would be, I assume, perfect for watercolor, um, charcoal, I imagine, any kind of sketching you wanna do, you could do on this. Uh, you could even prime it, put whatever paint you want on there, I imagine. 
Um, so again, you know, another kind of cool, interesting, versatile panel. And that's it. So thanks to Artifacts for sending me this awesome box. We'll definitely have a super time painting on all these panels.